fellow brothers and sisters, believers and non-believers, from Africa to Asia, to Europe, to North and South America, to New Zealand, Madagascar, the island, Australia, everywhere. On January 5th of 2015, on February 16, I gave a prophetic word about an exchange of government in the country of Cameroon. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 says, And this gospel about the kingdom of God will be preached to everyone around the whole world as a demonstration of the kingdom of God. And the end will come. There is a mighty supernatural wave of God's spirit. Anointing like never seen before. Power from heaven like never seen before. God himself is going to anoint this vast young army that will be rising. New leaders. Change of political views. The kingdom of heaven coming down. Prepare the way for this coming king, the king of kings and the lord of lords. The nation Cameroon, God Almighty will use that nation to demonstrate himself. Righteousness and justice. The moral, moral ways of God, holiness, godliness. The nation will be used as an impactful nation, a kingdom. It will be united kingdom of Cameroon. God will use it very mighty. Billions of souls will be one around the world. Great supernatural extreme anointing like never seen before. What was prophesied in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s is going to happen. That young people rising, supernatural power, men flying there and there, things like never seen. Prosperity and riches like never before. The church will be in power. Cameroon, there will be an exchange of government. Just like in the book of Daniel chapter 5. What happened? The writings at the wall. So, this is the third and the last prophecy. There's writing on the wall in Cameroon. In Daniel chapter 5, verse 24 to 31, it says, Then the fingers of the hand were sent from him, and this writing was written. And this is the inscription that was written. Mini, mini, ticker, obsen. This is the interpretation of each word. Meaning, God had not but your kingdom. And finish it. Ticket, you have been weighed in balance and found wanting. Paris, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Mendes and the Persian. Then Belshazzar gave command, and that they clothed Daniel with purple and a gold chain around his neck, and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. That very night, Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, was slain. And Darius, the Mendes, received the kingdom, being 62 years old. We know exactly what happened. If you read the Bible, you will know that this king was a wicked king, ungodly. Those days, they did a lot of sin, too much corruption, like what is happening around the world today. And God sent a hand to write. It's called handwriting on the wall. And no one could interpret it on the Daniel. Because he knew the language of God. And that same night he said the king was going to lose his kingdom. And Darius took over. And Belshazzar died that same night. Many kingdoms are going to die. The old ways, the immoral ways, the wicked ways, wickedness, which must die. God is raising a leader in the nation Cameroon. I have given you the prophecy. And this is the last one. Whether you believe it or not, God is going to Keep cleaning and washing the church. The church is going to be washed with the blood of Jesus. The bride is going to be prepared for the coming of the Messiah. I am a servant of God. Giving you a message. Preparing you to prepare the way for the Lord, for the coming king. The king of kings and the Lord of lords. I tell you this. Great light is coming. Mighty light is coming. I am speaking to you in parables. Great light is coming. I give all the glory. To the soon coming king. Shalom.